Looking at Zwift for virtual training on your bike? There are some things you need to know to get started. Let's go. Okay, what's Zwift? It's a software application that you can run on a PC, Mac, Apple devices such as Apple TV, iOS, such as iPad and iPhone, and hopefully at one point a release on Android operating systems. They do charge a monthly service you pay for, but if you use it, it's worth it. With Zwift, you need to have a smart trainer. Smart trainers need to plug into the wall because they need power to connect to your computer or Apple device wirelessly. There are several good smart trainers out there. I've been using the Wahoo Kicker and I'm hooked, but there are a bunch of other brands. Do your homework for the one that's right for you. Once you get your Smart Trainer and download Zwift, you're also going to need to connect your Smart Trainer to your device running Zwift. This can be through Bluetooth or through Ant Plus. Here I'm using an Ant Plus dongle. You want to make sure your device is close to the Smart Trainer's transmitter. I'm using an extension from my laptop to get inches away. If you don't get close enough, you might see dropouts which means you'll be pedaling, but the software won't see it and your avatar will be relaxing on the side of the road while you're working on your bike. You'll also need a cadence sensor. This is so Zwift knows how many revolutions your pedals are going around. You will actually see your avatar slow down or speed up his pedaling and the software will give a readout. A heart rate monitor is very useful. You don't have to buy it, but I do recommend it. This way you can see how hard you're working and make sure you're in your target heart rate zones. As you ride more and more, you might need a padded seat. The bike doesn't move side to side, so your rump tends to get sore on longer rides. I recommend putting a towel or a mat under your bike because you are going to sweat and I mean sweat a lot. It's also good to have a sweat towel so you can wipe your face and cover your bars from getting soaked. The last thing I also recommend is getting a fan to cool you off. Oh yeah, and don't forget your water bottle and fill it up. This will make the ride a little more comfortable. Other than that, that's it. I've been doing Zwift for, with my smart trainer for almost two years and I'm hooked. There's plenty of workout programs, joint rides, and racers with others around the world. I hope this helps with the basics needed to get started with Zwift. Please subscribe and give me a like and I just might see you on those Zwift virtual roads.